Hi, this is Cinema 5D from the Black Magic booth at NEB 2015 again. Um, as we said before, they introduced a lot of new products. Two of the new ones are very small micro cameras, uh, which are intended to be used on drones and multicopters and things like that, um, mounted on cars, etc. And um, they are called micro cinema camera and micro studio camera. Now the difference between the two cameras is one of them, the studio camera, is 4K and the cinema camera is Full HD. The Full HD version, the cinema camera, um, has a global shutter uh, at 30 frames per second. That means this will be very, very useful to be used on a multicopter because you don't get the tiny micro vibrations that everybody knows from GoPros uh, which are used on, on um, copters. Um, also, uh, you can switch it to a rolling shutter and then you can have up to 60 frames per second. Um, the really impressive thing about this is it has, a, uh, it has a micro four thirds mount, so you can use all your existing Lumix lenses on a really, really tiny camera, which is hardly any bigger than the mount itself. Um, and it records in 12-bit RAW. So this means this camera can be a serious, serious competitor for something like an Alexa Mini on, on a drone. Of course, the sensor is not as big, but for um, a drone shot, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So both of these cameras uh, use LPE6 Canon batteries for powering, which is nice because they are available everywhere and you can use your existing cam uh, batteries from the 5D or 7D. Also, uh, you can select between ProRes and Cinema DNG uncompressed RAW. Um, so you have extreme versatility when it comes to recording. And it records onto SD cards. So also another industry standard which is easily accessible. Okay, so Blackmagic surprised us. They entered the small camera market just like Ari did with the Alexa Mini. Um, but uh, Blackmagic uh, produces these cameras that are a direct competition to uh, GoPro kind of cameras. The normal version, the micro uh, global shutter version is $1,000. Uh, the 4K version is $1,300 and they're going to be available um, in July this year.